a race to rescue Tim Peake and his two colleagues. A fleet of helicopters rushes across the empty grasslands of Kazakhstan. No one knows exactly where and when the spacecraft will land. I'm the only British journalist on board. Timing is everything. And suddenly, the pilots spot something high above us. And there it is, an incredible sight. The giant parachute, it looks tiny from here, just drifting down through the clouds. The three astronauts on board, Tim Peake among them, making their way back down to Earth, and it looks like it's a very safe operation. By now, radio contact is established, but one big challenge remains, the landing itself. Touchdown approaching any second now, I think. There it goes, the rockets went off, breaking the fall, the capsule is down. Minutes later, the whole fleet was on the ground and the three spacemen started to be pulled out of the capsule. After six months, without any feeling of weight, they were too weak to walk. <laughs> Our first sight of Tim Peake, looking happy. His mission has gone well. Tim, David Shookman, welcome back to Planet Earth. Great to see you looking so well. Just tell me how you're feeling right now. Uh, just truly elated. I mean, just the smells of, uh, of Earth are so strong. Um, and, uh, after half a year without feeling the warmth of summer and still in his spacesuit, he was overheating. He managed a quick word with his wife, Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca, how are you doing? It feels good to be back on Earth. Then he was carried off for a medical check. He wants his time in space to be useful to research. Tim, it's a remarkable sight seeing you looking so well. Yeah, it's just you're, great to be back. You're grinning from ear to ear. It's just been a, a fantastic journey. Не пылить, не пылить. Не Ноги выше, ноги выше. And you know how many people have followed you on Twitter now? I know, it's been incredible, it really has. I'm just so grateful for all the support. And uh, yeah, thank you for everybody who's helped with this mission. With the astronauts being checked, the capsule was rolled upright so that technicians could get to work. An hour after landing and the capsule is still hot and being this close, I can smell how burnt it is. It became charred as it descended through the atmosphere. The spacecraft has returned laden with research samples. The mission is over, but a lot of science gets underway now. For the Russians, this operation is routine. But for Britain, it marks the first government-funded spaceflight. And Tim Peake hopes that more will follow. But the journey hasn't been easy. Tonight, he was walking, but with support. No surprise after so long in space. David Shukman, BBC News in Kazakhstan.